Hello there and welcome to Let's Animate Tutorial. This is Etadeo and today I'm going to teach you how to make a simple animation like a cycle animation into loop by cloning keyframes. Although this keyframe cloning is just a um, small feature in Krita version 5 so they just added this uh, new feature of um, cloning but this cloning is uh, limited um, we just have to follow along so so I made this animation it's a simple animation it's just few frames uh, it's not really smooth but this uh, demonstrate the cloning so let's stop the animation so this animation you know the cloning is uh, like when you added a keyframe like this one this this uh, yellow color of a keyframe is the same as this one this is cloned so this means it's cloned I just uh, right click uh, to change the color right here I just right click the keyframe and then choose the color whichever color you like so whatever I draw here like this one yellow uh, purple color it will also appear in this cup in this keyframe so whenever I go to that keyframe it's also the same so let's undo that so if I select this, this keyframe up to the last keyframe, not, not the new, the, the cloned one. So, and I'll just right click, all right, right click. And then you have this clone keyframes, all right. When you press this, it will be copied on your clipboard. So. When you paste it, let's say let's paste it here and then paste keyframes. It will paste the previous keyframes that we copied. But you know, the problem is in the clone frames, you won't be able to paste it again. So let's say let's paste it here, paste keyframe. The clipboard is already empty, it's already uh, flushed out. So you have to uh, select it again like this one, select all the keyframes and then copy it, clone it again. So that's the problem here uh, with the clone keyframes. You need to copy repeatedly, do this if you have to uh, make the clone multiple times all right so that's a problem once you copied it paste it again then you have it all right so that's the problem with the clone uh, feature clone keyframe so what we do here we need to uh, I created a temporary uh, layer all right I made a temporary layer and I put down the opacity, the opacity here. I need to put it down so it will be invisible. Then I will just, when you play it, let's say, let's play it. And it stopped. And he, uh, the character just stopped on the last uh, frames. So what we need is to make a couple of clone uh, keyframe a few times and then it will stop that's our goal so we need to remove first the last keyframe like this one the stopping frames so let's move it on the temporary layer so let's move up so you won't be able to see it and then you will copy the frames All right copy the frames the first and the last because we will not include the first because it's already there. 
So we're gonna copy it, right click, clone keyframes, and then paste it. So let's overwrite this. Paste keyframes. <clears throat> there we go. So we paste it. Right, now we have a couple, but the problem is we need to copy it again. We need to clone the keyframes. Then right click, clone frames, and then go to another frame here. Then paste keyframe. Now after uh, After copying the keyframes, we will cut. We will drag now the last stopping frames to the last uh, frames there. Now we will copy this keyframe. All right, and then clone. And paste it here and just in between it. just to let so just to tell us it's the last uh, keyframe all right paste there you go so whatever you do with these keyframes like this one let's uh, supposed to be this one this let's change the color color will be red all right so that keyframe let's say this keyframe whenever we change something like we give a nose. All right, let's change the pen. Put the pen size. Let's add a nose. So whatever you do here will also be here. See, it appeared that our clone is uh, effective. All right, that's it. So here. If we change this, we add another nose, right? The rest, let's say the rest there, there's the nose, all right? So whatever you do on the first keyframe or the third or the clone frames will also appear on the other frames, all right? That's the use of the keyframe.